Hey everybody, thank you for joining in. Um, as it says down below here, we're going to do the Wet Dreams Challenge. Um, I don't have all the intuits onto it, but from what I've picked up is that you see me do different reviews from, uh, and you've actually seen them on my show, from uh, Dean from Coil Vapes. Well, this past, my past birthday just went by and uh, he had actually sent me out a package. And there was a little... If you'd seen the photo I posted on my Facebook and on Instagram, if you follow me on those, there's a little tiny bottle like this in this bag, and on it it says, Wet Dreams, you're not going to see it through the bag, but we'll get, to get up close to it anyways. Well, I guess there's a little story, and I'm just trying to lead up to it a little bit so you guys get an idea of what I'm talking about, but from what I take it onto it here, it's just all in fun and nothing else. Nobody makes you do it or anything like that. You might get challenged from a friend or whatever, but that's really, you know, it's all in a it's all in about, you know, all in the fun. And this has been going around for a couple of years. It's gone through, like, Trevor Jones, uh, Zample Box. There's a few other videos out there called the Wet Dreams Challenge. Go look it up. Um, anyways, I from what I've picked up from there now, um, this has been around maybe a year, maybe two years, like I said. And when you do receive that bottle, you're supposed to do this challenge and put it on a video, post it, and so on. And then you send it to a friend. So that way there, eventually when this bottle gets empty and it's full, um, <clears throat> when it gets through, and then that's where it's supposed to end, and then it picks up another one, or Dean sends you out one. So, getting a little recap of, like I said, from what I understand onto it, when you go over to Coil Vapes and you make a purchase, or if Dean happens just to randomly send just a little bottle of it, or I guess you can challenge other friends to it and you contact Dean and then he sends it out, whatever. Um, the rules are pretty simple. I'm gonna break it down from, like I said, and I, there was no really no set rules. It was just from what I picked up from different videos and so on, so I'm kind of improvising, so I'm gonna run down what what I've kind of picked up. Um, let me have a quick vape. As you notice, I am dragging my feet. You all understand why. All right, so when you get it, <clears throat> leave it in the baggie till you're ready for it to do it because it stinks. It's really stinky shit. Um, <clears throat> you got to have a clean RDA with fresh cotton. It's never been fired onto or anything. Uh, I can't read that. Pick it up. Um, see what else was there. Uh, you can use a single or doil, dual coil. It's your preference. Um, it has to be at least 25 watts minimum. Um, and after you drip on your coils, show that everybody can see that, you know, they are dripped onto there. Let me see if I can move this light, if it'll help. No, it's just a piece of shit. But, um, <clears throat> and after you, you got to show them that it is soaked and everything also before you place your cap back on. Um, you got to take at least five second pulls, which I'm going to grab my phone so we can see that it is five seconds. And you got to repeat that three times. Um, <clears throat> another little hint that was from what I understood. Keep a bottle of water next to you. And a bucket just in case. Hang on, let me go grab my phone. Let's get this underway. set this up for the stopwatch so we'll know it's a five second pull so and yes I'm dragging my feet so anyways let's uh, get this here I got this on my Hannah mods I'm gonna be running this here since I can go to the minimum of 25 watts that's exactly right where I'm going to be at. Twenty-five watts and a zero point nine on the ohms. It is a single coil. Come on, come back to come back to us there. Come back to us. There we go. Get back to us. There we go. So.
Thanks, Dean. That's all I'm going to say is thanks, Dean. I was wondering why this was in the bag. Well, you can smell it right through the bag. So... Um, from well, so from what I've seen in videos, I guess some of it, it has like a blue cheese, it has coffee. So, So you can see it's good and wet. And I got to cover this up because it stinks. I'm glad my wife is not here right now because she, she would probably throw me outside the house. All right, well, here goes nothing. So you can see it's at zeros. And start. And make sure you have napkins. It tastes like ass sulfur. Ugh. That's it. Um, again, thank you, Dean. I love you. Shit is nasty. I gotta get a drink. All right. So again, thank you, Dean. I love you. Um, again, so that concludes the wet dream challenge. The wet dreams challenge. And uh, any of my friends that are out there don't know who this might doorstep this might fall onto, but somebody's getting this. All right, people. Again, now I'm going to grab something different. Ooh. That's going to do it. So thank you, everybody. Have a good one, and I'm glad you get some enjoyment out of this.